Dr. Jongi Klaus. Not so long ago, I had the honor of hosting Dr. Jongi Klaus, the author of Memoirs of Relentless Pursuit, on my radio show, Empowering Your Life. He had written a book about his journey from being a shepherd boy that grew up in impoverished circumstances in the rural outskirts of the Eastern Cape province in South Africa, and how, through possibility thinking, he was able to improve his life using education as a vehicle, to a point where he today holds a Bachelor of Pedagogics degree from the University of Forte, South Africa, a Master's degree from the University of Oklahoma, USA, and a Doctor of Philosophy degree in Sociology from the University of Cambridge, United Kingdom. It is clear from the following excerpts of that interview that the ability to think of what is possible, notwithstanding adverse circumstances, can drive one towards the achievement of big things. Me. There is an interesting story about how you acquired the name Jongi. Can you share with the listeners how you got that name? Dr. Klaus, my mother told me that in the 70s there was a radio drama show where there was a character by the name of Dr. Jongi who used to help people. So when I was born, my mother bestowed that name unto me, wishing that one day I would also become a doctor. It's funny that when she had that prophecy, she was a domestic worker on a farm. She never went to school. She didn't even know how to read or write, but she had that profound vision. Me, she had a dream for you, Dr. Class. She bestowed that name unto me, Though I started school late, it is funny that in the fullness of time, that prophecy was fulfilled. Now, before I continue quoting the interview, I hope that you're seeing what I am seeing from the attitude displayed by Dr. Klaas's mother. Her environment and her background held no power to determine the limits of her dreams and desires for her son. We should never be limited by what surrounds us or by our experiences. While we can do nothing about the past, the future is yet undetermined. How we perceive it and what we confess about it creates the reality that is our lives. Dr. Klaus, it started with the hope I had once I started schooling. I was determined that once a chance comes, I would use it to the best of my ability. Once finally the doors of learning opened from the age of 11, I was relentless. I was relentless to catch up as I was aware that I was far behind. I knew that I only had one chance and I was determined to use it to the best of my ability. There is a line that I like in the book of William Shakespeare, Julius Caesar. There is a tide in the affairs of man, which taken at the flood leads on to fortune, omitted all the voyage of their life is bound in shallows and in miseries. On such a full sea we are now afloat and we must take the current when it serves or lose our ventures. What Shakespeare is saying is that every person does get a chance in life. One way or another, God does provide an opportunity. Now, it's a question of letting it pass or grabbing it. You will be able to spot and take advantage of the opportunities that come your way if you maintain a confidence or believing mindset. Later on in the interview, he relates a story about how he arrived at the University of Forte with an old blanket amongst his few possessions. The fact that he lacked, however, did not dissuade him from believing in the power of education to create a better life. His strong belief leads him to see an opportunity. He entered a debating competition which had prize money of 500. He enlisted the assistance of seniors that were known to him to help him to prepare, and as face would have it, he won the competition. His possibility mindset brought opportunities for his transition towards that which he strongly desired. Unfortunately, I am unable to provide an entire transcript of the entire interview. I am sure, however, from the little that you have read, that you have picked up that the thing that extracted Dr. Klaus from poverty and set him on a path of success was the quality of his thinking, fortitude, and a vision which he pursued relentlessly. These were components of his belief. So at the end of the day, it was him believing right, despite the contradictory evidence that was all around him that ensured his success.